Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of Plant Boy. Today, I am once again parked on the side of the road, but this is a very, a much more, a much more quieter road than the last video. Today's video is going to be on what they want to say to you. What do they want to tell you? What are they thinking in their minds that they cannot verbally express to you? So we're going to be figuring that out and we're going to be diving in to the Deviant Moon Tarot. So timestamps will be below and um, everything else is below. I don't know if there's anything else you need to know. Instagram is below. That's about it. But these little pouches, this little pouch, my mom made this pouch so I might be selling some in the future when she perfects it. Well, she will be. Bruh, someone just honked at me. Don't honk at me. So, what are they thinking of you? What do they want to say to you, okay? Just in general, what is going on in their mind? We're just going to be diving into your person, okay? This can be relationship-wise. This can, this can be about a business partner, about anybody. But it's probably going to be about love. So let us see, okay? This is number one. Focus on the intention. Focus on your person. Focus on what they want to say to you. What do they want to tell you? Number one. Number two. Okay, do you see that? Number two. I'll hold them side by side so you guys can all see them together. And number three. Number one, number two, and number three. Pause the video and choose according to what is calling to you. Sorry if it's not focused, but okay. All right, everybody that has picked number one. I'm shuffling on my knee, but let us see. Number one, everybody that has picked number one. What does your person want to say to you? What do they want to say to you? What do they want to tell you? What are they thinking? their person want to say to them what does your person want to say to you what does your person number one want to say to you okay let us get these what do they want to say to you one. we'll get three cards or maybe four We're getting four cards. What do they want to say to you? Interesting. Let me just go through the cards first, okay? So we got the King of Swords. We got the Five of Wands in reverse. We got the Ace of Swords in reverse. And we got the Queen of Wands in reverse. I feel like there's a conflict. I feel like there was a conflict that cannot be resolved. I feel like there's a conflict that they think cannot be resolved. They think that it cannot go reverse. I feel like they feel like this is still upright even though it is reverse. Because it's just their mind telling them the truth is this. The truth is that. The truth is false. And they don't, they can't find the confidence to tell you these things, okay? I feel like this person, this person has something to tell you in regards to other people, in regards to a group setting, in regards to a situation that happened. This is in regards to a situation that has already happened, a situation, obviously it already happened, but this is a situation that was like not discussed, but you both know there was like some type of conflict involved, whether it was small. I feel like it was said. This was expressed, like I feel like you know this. I feel like you know what I'm talking about. They know what the situation is and they know that you know what they're talking about. I feel like you guys either, okay, if, if you and this person went through like a crazy conflict and you guys have not yet resolved it, then be sure to know that this person might cut you off soon, okay? Okay. 
this person is contemplating their life. They're contemplating like the whole, the whole surroundings of their life, like the bigger picture of their life, and they're putting everything together. They're trying to see the truth to situations. And their situations that they're going through, as I said, they're going through their life. They're going through these situations, and this certain situation popped up that you know of, that they know of. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you don't know what I'm talking about. There were a lot of people involved in this situation. I feel like there was a conflict. Maybe it's like a third party. Maybe this is like at a party, or you said something something to them in front of a group of people and then they kind of like like they didn't bring it up but you know this is kind of like dra drastic for them like emotionally and spiritually and holy like this is something they have not completely resolved in their minds or something and you don't see it as something that is a big deal so you spoke of it and then it actually hurt this person okay so you either said something that you weren't supposed to say or you did something that you weren't supposed to do and if you did, and if that is correct, then this person is thinking of cutting you off. This person is thinking of clearing the air and clearing the situation, clearing the energy to try to get the, to the truth of the situation. Because there's, so there's so many things that are unsolved in this situation. Okay? So I think you need to have an open, honest conversation about something that is in the back of your mind, okay? When you're thinking of this person and then if there's something in the back of your mind that's like a conflict that has not resolved yet, even if it's small, you need to do this ASAP. And if you do not try to resolve what needs to be resolved with this person, then this person is just going to continue on the path of like taking things out of their life that is not necessary anymore, okay? So that is what they're trying to do. They're trying to just like clear and purge their life of negative energy and they're trying to purge their life of their demons. And if you help in supporting their demons, which is like making fun of whatever it is or bringing up something that wasn't supposed to be brought up, if you help in any way in that form, then they are probably going to cut you off or they're going to try to like... I don't think they want to even confront you about it. I think they want you to like realize it within yourself to come to them. And if that doesn't happen, then they're just going to move on because they don't really see truth in the relationship between you and them if you are not confronting a situation that needs to be confronted. So, interesting. Like, it's all about... It's all about truth. It's all about truth and honesty in this, in this deck, in this um, little spread. Okay, it's all about knowing what's right, knowing what's wrong, and it's all about understanding other people. Okay, like it's about you understanding them. That's all they want. They want a clear understanding of who they are and they want to be confident. They don't want to be put down in any way, and I feel like you might have put them down in a way that you didn't think was going to put them down. But yeah, that's what's happening. And they kind of just they kind of just shove these things down into their subconscious like they don't really want to talk about it because it's like not healing for them they just want to let go they just want to purge they just want to clean okay so don't let these things that have not been spoken out verbally don't let them just dissipate don't let them just fade away okay you need to bring them back and you need to talk about them and you need to resolve them and you need to actually progress in your life and in another person's life okay just because it's not convenient and just because it's not convenient to bring it up doesn't mean you don't have to the truth! Speak the truth. Speak the truth. All right. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if that resonated. And until next time, the world of Plant Boy. Okay, hello number two. It got real quiet right now for number two. Okay, I like that. Let's see. Let us see what kind of person. No, not what kind of person. What do they want to say to you? Hello, number two. What do they want to say to you? <sighs> All right. What do they want to say to number two? <sighs> what do they want to say to number two? What do they want to say to you, number two? Let's get four cards. Four cards of what they want to say to you. Four cards. All right, number two, let us go through your cards. So we got 
We got the King of Pentacles. We got the Empress in reverse. We got the Ace of Wands in reverse. <gasps> and we got the Eight of Swords. Damn. Damn. Okay. All right. So first of all, this person, I think, wants to elevate things into the relationship. They want to make things bigger and more grand, more grounded, more reliable, more real. Okay. They want to actually hold this pentacle and they want truth in this relationship. They want truth in you. Okay. I feel like this, like there has to do something with time. Like, this person is focused on time. Maybe they're going to go somewhere, go to school, travel, or move. And this is a very open person, okay? This can be like somebody that's non-binary, or this can be like um, a gay relationship, or this is... I feel like this is something like... Of course, everything else, all my other readings can apply to any other person. But I'm feeling this strongly in this reading, okay? And this person wants to elevate things. This person wants to tell you things. Maybe this is a friend that you not ne that you not yet know that they like you. Or maybe you assume that they like you, so you're asking. But they very much want to take things into a deeper level, okay? Into a deeper meaning, okay? I feel like they're afraid to tell you that they want you to be their baby daddy. I feel like they're afraid to tell you that they want to literally get impregnated by you. Boom another baby like you got the empress and then you got a baby like you got the empress being pregnant and then you got the baby like like this person really wants to have kids this person or there are kids involved and they want to <clears throat> okay they either want to ele if you don't have kids they either they want to elevate the situation okay but this brings them all these like terrors like it literally sucks out energy out of them to even think of bringing up like oh i like you oh i want this with you or to even start talking about things because i feel like maybe you guys are in a relationship some type of situation where you guys don't really talk about feelings like that and they want to make it more reliable like they want to talk about things so they can rely on you for this relationship they don't want to just like keep going with the flow and then what if something doesn't happen like they want it to be grounded and they want to be able to see the bigger picture, okay? They want to be able to, like, start building their kingdom. They want to start, like, building their, like, empire. And they want to have kids. And they want to start, like, their family and start everything. And they want to start it with you, okay? But I feel like there's a block. Like, there's a block that's not allowing this new beginning to start. Maybe you have kids. Or maybe you are focused on someone else. Maybe you are in another relationship. Or maybe this is somebody you're asking for that it is in another relationship. And then they want to be with you. But it's like they have their relationship. And they want to, like, end things with that relationship and come to you. They see a lot of potential. They see a lot of potential with you, okay? And when they visualize their future with, like, their family, their empire, and everything, they see it with you. I'm also seeing like a I'm also seeing like a toxic marriage or a toxic relationship with children where this person wants to leave. This person wants to move on. This person doesn't want to move on from like the family and from the kids and stuff. This, they just want to move on. They just want to move on from the negative energy, okay? It's not that they don't love you or that they don't want to do this and that. It's just that they want to let go of this. They want to let go of these energies, these energies that are tying them down. But that's overall a beautiful message, okay? This person sees you as somebody that's so grand, so like has everything. This person sees you as somebody who like literally has everything. Like you have your job down, like you look beautiful, you're always looking good, you have the best clothes, like you have the best everything. You're just like top notch, you know, when it comes to aesthetic, when it comes to the material world. And then they see their empire, okay, the empress, they see their empire and it's kind of just like not built yet, okay? And it's reversed and they want to re they want to unreverse that and they want to start they want to start looking around and they want to start building things like place that there place that there I want to have a baby here I want to have this here but they can't start that without a person without a man without the king you know we got the king of Pentacles it's almost as if this person feels like you're perfect for them because I feel like you might be because we have the king of pentacles and then we have the empress ruled by Taurus as well like what like we got the two materialistic like beautiful people when it comes to feminine and masculine and I feel like she's looking at your coin she's looking at you and like she's the perfect vessel for everything that you need and then you're the perfect person for hers 
you're the perfect person for her and she's the perfect person for you, I feel. I feel like you guys need each other in different ways and it's like perfect at this moment to come together. I feel like something's going to blossom out of this. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if that resonated. That was interesting. Uh, but until next time, the world of Plan Boy. All right, number three. Hello, number three. Welcome to your reading. This is for you. Let us see what this person you're thinking of, what they're thinking of you, what they want to tell you, but they can't. Number three, what do they want to tell number three? Four cards, number three. Four cards for you. Four cards, number three. We got two. Let's get two more. Two more cards for number three. Two more cards for you, number three. Two more cards for number three. One more card for number three. So I'm gonna just go through the deck or your cards. I'm gonna go through your cards. So we got the page of cups in reverse. We got the two of pentacles. We got the 10 of swords. And we got the two of, I mean the page of wands. I feel like this person wants to move forward with something. I feel like this person might want to apologize to you. I feel like they might have done something to you. Um, that left you feeling just horrible, enclosed. And I feel like they want to apologize to you, okay? Or it's the opposite. Or they feel like you need to apologize to them. But I'm feeling a balance. I'm feeling like a... Like someone wants to create equilibrium within their emotional state, within their mental state. <sighs> page, the page of wands, okay? I feel like they want to move forward. I feel like they want to like create something new. I feel like this person isn't being honest, maybe. I feel like this person wasn't being honest in the past with you. And maybe they said some things that actually left you feeling like the Ten of Swords, okay? But the Ten of Swords is coming to an end. This is the end, okay? This is the Ten. And I was saying, I already feel like this new energy, like they want to bring something new to the table. They want to apologize. They want to see something different. They want to see a fish with a light in its mouth. Like what? They want to see some whales in the back. Like they want to let go. They want to let go of these energies, this 10 of swords energy. They want to like, like we went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 of swords. Like let's just, let's drop them all and let's, let's move on. Let's go forward. I feel like they're not even touching the ground. Like they weren't even being honest with you. They weren't being honest with themselves. So it's like, this is an apology that's not only for you, but it's an apology to themselves, okay? Or this is the same way for you. Like if you're gonna apologize to them for something, you're actually apologizing to yourself as well. But look at these. So much balance in these cards. Like number two, there was all these like equal balances. You see the two and the two? It's like, like maybe you guys love dancing or like something with exercising, but or maybe you guys met at a club, at a bar, at a something with exercising like a gym or something or school, a sport. Um, but they definitely want to see the stars, okay? They want to move forward. Even if it's not real, they want to like Even if there's nothing real emotionally, and this is a friend, this is a business partner, they want to move forward and they want to make things balanced. They want to be free and they want to free themselves of this like misfortune that they brought upon themselves, okay? Because when they did this thing to you, I feel like they did something to you. When they did this thing to you, like this heartbreak, this like mental anguish, okay? They brought this like mental anguish to you. I feel like they did not only bring it to you, but they brought it to themselves as well. So it's not only helping bring balance into you, the feminine, okay? Even though you might not be feminine, I'm using it as an example because we have feminine, masculine, okay? You're, this person 
which is a masculine, is not only bringing balance to you, but balance to themselves, okay? Because we got the twos and the twos. Same way, you're not only bringing balance to them, but I feel like you might turn your back on them. I feel like they're definitely gonna come towards you with some sort of an apology, with some sort of like clean, sl clean slate. Like they wanna let go of things. That's the main thing of this reading. They wanna let go of things and they wanna move forward. But it's like, will you accept this? Will you turn your back and just move on with like, okay, now I'm balanced. Now I know you apologize. Now I'm gonna move forward. Are you gonna move forward as they're trying to come towards you? Or are you gonna turn around? Okay, you don't know because her, fur her footing is different. So it's up to you. I feel like you've been waiting for a person to come to you and like say these things to you, this specific person, and now it's up to you. Now it depends on what you wanna do with this, okay? Once they come to you, once they let you know about the things that they've thought about emotionally, the things that they thought about mentally, once they let you know all these things, it's up to you. Like, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna move forward? Do you wanna turn back? Do you wanna turn your back on them? Like, what do you wanna do, okay? So yeah, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if that resonated. And until next time, the world of Plant Boy.